what we're doing, which is a little different than, say, creating a painting or a clay pot, is we're a welding, wielding <laughs> uh, glass that's 2,000 degrees and it's very heavy on the end of a five foot pipe. And we're harnessing that energy and that hot molten media, medium, and, uh, you know, making it respond to our will with our bare hands wet newspaper on the 2,000 degree surface. So more or less, we have to have our design ready to go. We have to have things planned out. We know seconds make a difference. And we're not only making the piece, we're counting, we're timing, we're listening for the pitch of the glass when we ding it on the metal table that we have our design on. We've just been waiting for that piece in the middle of the process, that design, waiting, because no time to design at that point. It's gotta be ready to go. So once we take our last gather of crystal, over our bubble, we're going to roll it into that design and uh, let that spontaneity occur within boundaries of our design. So we're making choices at that moment, but we're also planning it out well before we begin. And that's halfway through. So <laughs> we've got to that point, then we're doing good, we got the design on, but we're still having to manipulate the glass, we're still having to stretch it. Um, find little things that you do to the glass make a huge difference and if you do make a mistake then you spend a lot of time correcting, correcting, correcting and hopefully the piece will come out. But um, mainly it's a lot of um, careful action as well as spontaneous choices within a set boundary. So I love the privilege of actually having the opportunity to, uh, to dip my blowpipe into incredibly hot glass and, and make the magic, make the magic happen.